AKA the Black Rob Burgundy. What the fuck in your face in the hip hop world? King Bass is in the building. He's at Broccoli Fest. What's good, my guy? How you holding up today, man? I'm blessed. I'm blessed, bro. I, I retired the king, but it's not. It's not bad that you said that. You still, you still a king in my book. That's book-ed. what everyone says, bro. That's what everyone says. I, and I feel like for me, I don't know, man. It feels right. It feels right. Bass, Bass feels personable. Bass feels personable, but I think that. I think that. Uh, the name change was just, it was just a branding thing. It just felt right. It looked clean. It looked like, it was like the evolution. You know what I mean? You know how like, artists evolve and grow definitely, and change over definitely. time. That's what it felt like. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. So, as the world know, you took a break from, you know, doing some dope, amazing stuff behind the scenes for, you know, Dr. Dre and good music and Kanye. What's some of the new endeavors you used to have focused on to help, you know, make sure you stay relevant to the game? Uh, of course, bro. I mean, so, man, my approach to everything is just so, it's so different these days. Especially because I, I made music, but I also direct. Obviously, I directed the Middle Child video for J. Cole. This is about to be diamond at some point soon. Congrats. Which is tight. I need to come inside. I need that diamond flag. <laughs> Shout out to them, man. Being yeah, down to let me do that. And that kind of started a whole new side of my career. So, like, now it's more like my role, my trajectory is more like some Donald Glover shit now because it's like music and film. And niggas take me serious in both spaces. You know what I mean? So yesterday's price. I feel like that's exactly what he said. Yesterday's price is not today's it's price. Not today's not today. price at the end of the day. Definitely, exactly. definitely. So you gotta you about to have a diamond plaque on your resume amongst other dope things you have done your own. I need my own. That's for direct. So and speaking of for your own, what will be the ideal? What's your your, your favorite artist you would like to work with on the, on the directorial side of things? The directorial side? I mean, honestly, if I'm being real, bro, the magnitude, the level that Cole is at right now, it makes it so that it's like, I don't really have to direct a video for nobody no more. This is when I started with like one of the, you know, one of the goats, really. So I feel like now, bro, TV and movies is all I'm really on. Like, you know, I own a, I own a third of a cartoon that's gonna come out. That's probably gonna get sold soon. I'm really excited about that. Okay. Um, can, can we get like, a little sneak peek just for the, the strength of a Scott Chronicles exclusive, or we gotta you know wait it out for the most part? I'm saying, bro, that if you, until they cut the check, we gotta be low about this. Thing. I understand. You know what I'm saying? Of course, of course. Of course. You can't fuck with the back at the end of the day, so I get it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's all that is. That's all that is. Bro, I gotta focus on it. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate that. So, and speaking of, like, we're right here at the Rocket Fest in Wynn. You got your own entertainment company that's doing some dope and amazing stuff yeah, yeah. behind the scenes. Can you give us a breakdown of, like, how you're able to get access to this kind of stuff, festivities? I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I said, I think the Middle Child video kind of made it so that people just was like, oh, Mez is just creative in general. And so after that, when people just got to start perceiving you that way, people just trust you with anything. Right. It's cool, bro. I always wanted to enter that space. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Like, Definitely. certain niggas enter a creative space where it's like, like if Kanye do a shoe, you're going to trust it. If a nigga does a movie, you're going to trust it. Anything he does, you're going to trust it. Right. I want to be one of them, bro. Right. Right. And I'm entering that space now where it's like, oh, the nigga drop an album. I'm like, oh, you know, it's going to be tight. I'm like, oh, like oh, he's going to direct it. I'm going to be tight. Right. You know, like I need, I need, I need to be. I, like, it's like Apple. You know, this big computer company. Yeah. I, I, I listen to this TEDx a lot. Um, you know, TED Talks. Yes. What's that? There's this one TEDx that's really tight with this guy. This guy, I can't remember his name, but he was talking about how he was talking about at one point of, of his his talk about how Apple is like trusted. He's like IBM. They make computers too. You wouldn't buy a phone from them, though, right? You know, because they're not branded that way. Apple is branded in a way like it don't matter what they do if we trust these niggas, you know what I mean? And right. That's because the taste level is so high, and that's that's how I see my, my art and my brand and my company, too. Brand is strong at the end of the day, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. My final question to you would be, if you was able to curate a, a, your own festival, 
full of, you know, talented artists and even like you talented photographers and videographers. What would you name it and who would be the headliner for your own festival? The headliner for my festival would for sure be me. As, well, you know, I mean, when it, when the time, you know, it, it, I don't know when it's gonna be, but but sooner than later, for sure. But I, but you know, I was gonna say, uh, I'm moving in Web Three space, heavy, okay. low key, and uh, I think Airs is gonna Airs is gonna have like some nice like Web Three connection shit. So I feel like my my festival would be different. It would be like music oriented, but then it'd be fashion, it'd be film, maybe a lot of different things. Imagine like a music festival that had like a runway show or some shit that could be crazy at some point. And it, it start that part. up. Yeah, I don't like doing nothing the same as nobody else. So yeah, I'm not. So, I'm not. Yeah. And this is my guy, best Spook out. Oh, we signing out. Check out the content. Don't scoff. Peace. Yeah, that's good.